and welcome to another video. Today I am riding Sunny and we are going to show you how to get the correct lead in canter. Now horses when cantering have a leading leg, a canter is three beat, it goes the front inside leg, then the outside leg and the other inside leg and then the far hind leg. So when your horse is cantering they do have to canter on the correct lead regardless of whether you're doing a dressage test or not they should be cantering correctly because one they have to build up each side correctly and two for their balance if horses canter on the incorrect leg sometimes they can get a little unbalanced so i'm going to tell you how do you get your horse to canter on the correct lead now the first thing i'm going to say is a lot of clients that i have taught the where they go wrong is they are actually concentrating way too much on that inside leg now if i show you what i mean if I was riding, I was getting ready to come into kit. What I'm doing now is I keep looking at that inside leg. I'm staring at it because I want to make sure that I can draw on the inside. Then I start to lean, then I start to lean more. And now I'm putting a hell of a lot of weight on that inside leg, just by looking at it, thinking what I'm doing, trying to make sure that I'm on that inside leg. So your horse is always going to pick the easier option. Your horses don't want to pick the harder option if they can. They are horses. Their job is to just eat grass, not do what we're asking them to do. So they're not going to purposely pick a harder choice. So you need to make that choice easier for them by making that inside leg lighter. So come on, Sunny, let's show them. In the trot, and this is a little trick I like to use for horses that struggle to get the correct lead. Now, Sunny used to really struggle to get the um, left lead canter, so I'm purposely putting him on the left rein for you. So he feels balanced. He feels like he's in both my reins. My trot's nice. It's got a bit of impulsion and he's not over bent to the inside. So before I ask for the canter, because I know he struggles a bit, I'm actually going to push him over to the left, a little bit of leg heel. Then I'm going to swing my right leg back. Good lad. So I actually did a teeny, teeny, weeny little bit of leg yield. And I also do this when I'm teaching them the flying changes because it just gives them that easier option. So we come back to trot. I don't want him to be running away. So I slow my rising down a bit, create left bend. Now I'm going to ask for a tiny bit of leg yield. My right leg swings back. Good, good boy. Now this is his harder rein and he actually doesn't like cantering on the left rein. So it took a while to get him confident enough to canter on this leg. But just by doing that little bit of leg yield, good boy, it makes it easier for him to pick up that left lead canter. Now when I say leg yield, I'm actually leg yielding him away from the inside leg, not towards the inside leg. So my left leg pushes him across sideways. Now my right leg swings back behind the girth. Now, um, I had a question asked that, how do you know if they're cantering on the correct lead? And if you can't feel it, which is not the end of the world if you can't, you can see it. So if you actually look at their shoulder, now I know I've just told you not to look at their shoulder, but this is in canter. So once I know he's cantering and he's going forward, I look down and now I can physically see his left shoulder is coming forward, 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 forward. So that's how I know. And again, I don't need to stare at it. I can stay sitting up and have a sneaky look and have a look at that shoulder. And it's quite clearly coming more forward than the other shoulder. Good boy. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. And always remember, don't make life hard for them. Don't give them a more difficult option because they won't take it, they're horses. So whenever I want to ask for the canter lead, if I'm struggling with my horse picking up that correct lead, give them that easy option. Stop staring at that inside leg and tilting your body over there and putting all your weight on that inside leg. You're making it too hard. Sit up, stay square, move them off the inside leg then you can put your outside leg behind the girth and that's what's going to get them to pick up the correct lead. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, just send them to me via Facebook or YouTube and I'll see you for the next one.